hello welcome to forex trading strategies in this video i'll be showing you guys how you can trade without using the time frame okay without using the dashboard now most people that that patronize the dashboard from me some of them complained that they can't install it now if you're having problem with your meta trader 5 that you can't install the dashboard but you still have some other parts of the upgraded setup you can go ahead and trade with it so this is what i'm talking about so this is the full setup for the uh boom and crash okay this is the upgraded setup so if you want to use it use it this time frame this dashboard now this this line here this line that keeps on moving is same thing with the dashboard okay it's from the dashboard so if you want to use the arrow indicator alone with this histogram down here if you are unable to add your dashboard maybe you're not able to you don't have market session on your meta trader 5 so and you want to use it alone you want to use the remaining setup alone there are ways that you can go about it okay there are ways you can go about it now this will be taking us back to the point whereby we need to know the 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 direction of the market in different time frame ourselves so we can decide or we can we can predict what is going to happen next okay so now so far we are not going to use this dashboard then we'll not be needing this interface so let's go to another interface that won't have this dashboard okay so this is the same setup here without the dashboard so we have the same setup and we don't have the dashboard here so how do we trade using this so if you have this arrow indicator and you have your histogram and you want to use it to trade so how do you know the direction of the market as you can see the difference the R, the dashboard is here it's showing the, uh, that the market is on downtrend for considerable or uh, uh, section like in five minutes 15 minutes 30 minutes the one hour the four hours even on the daily time frame okay so here we don't have anything like that so how do we still trade with this regardless so for example if i should open my trading system now like, okay okay i'm ready for today's trading so let me see what the market is saying and i opened it and and add these indicators to my my chart so let me go ahead and dock it out a bit to aid our trading so i'll just go ahead and dock it okay now i've docked it so let's see what we have here okay so let's assume that i want to trade now i want to know what the market is saying so this is the crash in one minute so you can see that in one minute time frame this red arrow is out already the red arrow is out meaning that the market is on a resistant level around that area so there's a resistant level so it's possible that there's going to be a crash so if you're in the market for this long then you need to exit the market before the crashes happen okay so that is how the arrow shows now let's move ahead so if you have to consider the one minute time frame let's see what it's been on so the one minute time frame from if you are considering it from here if you are considering it from here then it's still on a downtrend you see that's a downtrend but if you are considering it from from here this is the lowest for this screen right now this is the lowest if you are considering it from here so this is an uptrend okay so if you are going to give it a trend you can say this one minute is on uptrend okay you don't have to consider this length the, uh, the whole of this length okay so we'll consider this short one alone so one minute is on uptrend now let's go to other time frame come here time frames go to five minutes so what is the five minutes saying so you can see the five minutes now if you are going to consider five minutes we'll start from this red arrow here so let's see if we can take this here so you can see the five minutes is on downtrend you can see the arrow the way it faces down the five minutes on downtrend and even the five minute time frame also the red arrow is out so if you are trading it you know that it's time to leave the market okay let's see if we can delete one of this okay this, so the five minutes here is on downtrend so let's go and check 15 minutes time frame we check 15 
so even the 15 minutes you will see that it's on downtrend you will see it's on downtrend if you are considering it from here this is a downtrend here okay if you if we even, even if you want you can consider it from here to here this is a downtrend in the 15 minutes it shows a downtrend okay so five minutes is downtrend 15 minutes also is a downtrend okay so let's check another time frame that the next one will be 30 30 minutes so our 30 minutes also is no doubt a downtrend you can see sorry so our 30 minutes is a downtrend our 30 minutes is a downtrend let's delete it now let's check one hour Uh, one hour so you can see our h1 which is one hour is a downtrend as well so you can see this is a downtrend as well so let's check our day one sorry our four hours our h4 time frame h4 four hours so you can see the four hours also is a downtrend you can see the trend right here it's a downtrend it's going downward now let's check the day one time frames uh daily so you can see you can see this market has been on downtrend for long so you can see from here to here now there's no reversal in the trend yet okay there is no reversal in the trend yet so in this kind of situation and you still want to trade if you still want to trade then i will advise you go to five minute time frame the time frame go to five minutes uh let's shift to where the price action is okay this is the price action here so you can see the arrow that came out the other time the red arrow see the see the huge uh, crash that happened the arrow that came out while i was analyzing see see the huge crash that happened so you must be very careful of this so as you can see the market is on downtrend so the momentum of the market is on downtrend before you know it there will be a crash before you know it there is a crash so you must be very very careful now this arrow coming out doesn't mean guarantee that you can stay there for 20 minutes or 30 minutes the the magnitude of the market also must be considered before you place your trade so that you don't trade against the tide okay so if you are trading against the force you might not uh, like the outcome so you must be very careful about this so let, let's check the one minute one minute okay uh let's shift to the, where the price action is so you can see the crash in one minute the arrow came out the other time while we are explaining it at the one minute time frame so you can see the crash that happened so you must be very careful when the market is showing this kind of this kind of movement once you check it out okay now the market is dominated with uh a downtrend and this is crash then i will advise you stay away from it i will advise you stay away from it because if you are still trying to force your way to trade then you might not like the, like, like the outcome at all okay you might not like the outcome so you must be very careful while trading something like this that's why i always advise you check your 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 time frame check your 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 trend and make sure that your trend is in line with the assets that all the instruments that you are trading if you are trading the boom then it should be going up an uptrend will favor you no if you are changing the boom to be going a downtrend will favor you if you are changing the crash an uptrend will favor you but now this is the crash on downtrend so you must stay away from it okay so this is uh a precaution that you must set in place before trading okay you just don't hit the market and install your indicator and say okay i've seen blue i entered okay i will see red before i go out once the market is not in line with its normal conventional movement then the ab abnormalities of the indicator will be clearly shown okay so you should not be 100 percent it's not be 60 percent reliable anymore because the 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 market is working against its own normal movement so you must be very very careful while trading using this kind of setup okay so first thing you must know uh the movement of the market if it is showing you that okay there's more of uptrend then you can go and stay 10 minutes 15 minutes per trade 
and make money but now that it's having a reversal you must as well avoid it so that it won't take all the profit you've made and even take your capital with it okay so this is how you use this to trade for those of you that don't have the dashboard okay so i'm still fine i'm still looking for way out how we can get it although uh there's not any solution yet so you can use it to trade this way by checking your time frame by checking the trend by you can determine your trend by checking each time frame then you do your arithmetic okay like if you have four downtrend if you are considering it from one hour from one minute to day one one minute to day one uh let me see let me dock this again sorry so so we can use this to check it so we are uh, considering for one minute to day one one two three four five six seven that is seven then uh it must be dominated by an uptrend that is one by an uptrend so if you have an uptrend in one minute in five minutes in 30 minutes and one hour one minute five minutes 30 minutes one hour that is four four out of seven mm -hmm. so you can take some small small trade and don't stay there for long but once you have a clear indication like this like this one minute to to a daily same uptrend that is a very strong signal for you you can enter it and start milking whichever way you want okay so you must wait for the opportunity opportunity will not be around every time okay it won't be around every time but whichever, whichever time you find it that it's around then you can utilize it okay don't be in haste to trade every time don't be in haste to trade every time it is very very dangerous for your capital okay and for your even your trade your trading career so thank you guys for watching once again so if you have your hands on this indicator and the dashboard congratulations but if you don't have the dashboard with it then you can use the manual way of detecting the trend of the market that i just taught you now okay so if you don't have your hands on this uh, indicator at all this whole setup and you want to get your hands on it feel free to contact me but you know it's at a cost of course so thank you guys for watching once again this is forest trading strategies and bye